Hey everyone, this is Jeff from Church Motion Graphics, and I have a quick tutorial for you that's under 10 minutes that shows you how to make this beautiful uh, and simple motion loop in After Effects. So let's get started. Okay, we're in After Effects CS6, uh, but you can do this in, I think, virtually any version of After Effects. I'm using uh, stock effects that are found in. Uh, probably every version of After Effects are very simple effects to create this this motion loop so I'm going into new composition and I just have a 720 uh, HD uh, composition um, right here nothing you, you can go whatever resolution you need but uh, I'm gonna make this 30 seconds that's a nice length of a motion loop and then there's my composition uh, then I'm going to go up into layer and do new solid and it's the same size as my composition that's great I'm going to go into effects and chew and uh, search for fractal noise you just have to type in enough uh, letters there that it kind of filters through and there's there's fractal noise there and because I'm I'm on my uh, my solid there I can just double click and uh, the effect will be uh, put right onto that solid layer. Okay, as I scrub in the timeline, nothing's happening because uh, you need to animate the evolution of this effect. So I'm just going to dial in here, maybe move this up a little, and find uh, evolution. So I want to go to the start of my composition, click the stopwatch, and go to the end of my composition. Now you want to go to the end, but you also um, want to go one keyframe past the end. So I press page down on my keyboard, and I'm one frame past the end. And click uh, the evolution, the number of rotations, uh, total rotations. Let's make it 10. And now as I scrub through the timeline, this, uh, this noise pattern um, changes. So let's just do a RAM preview and see how fast that's moving. Looks pretty good. This will be more of a maybe a medium speed motion background. Um, I tend to make things that are fairly slow, but uh, you know, for this example, let's make it something kind of a, a medium speed, not too fast, but you know, not too slow either. Okay, so to make this loop, let's let's show you the first frame and the last frame. There's a, there's a huge difference between those. So we need to tell uh, this fractal noise when we want to loop and start at the beginning um, of this pattern. So we dial into this evolution options and cycle evolution, turn that on, and then this cycle of revolutions, we want to turn that to 10 uh, because that's what we, uh, that's how many revolutions uh, we we indicated as our last keyframe 10 and 10 so now when we go to the start keyframe and the end keyframe they're very very similar um, and that'll loop uh, um, seamlessly okay now we want to change this a little bit it looks it's very let's let's actually change this resolution to to full uh, it's very noisy it's not it's not very uh, smooth or anything like that so let's just go into this transform and maybe scale this up um, I like using spline as the noise type kinda gives it a, a softer feel uh, or contrast maybe we bump that up a little bit turn down the brightness and we also want to turn down the complexity from 6 to Let's some something fairly smooth. Let's say, there we go. Okay, ramp preview. Already, we're getting a, a fairly nice motion. Uh, so, you know, something kind of organic looking. Now you can see we've kind of have these these hot spots right there. That's you know pure white. Um, there's some different ways we can we can kind of dial that back down. We can turn down the brightness, uh, or we could maybe put another effect 
on the layer uh, you know to bring down those hot spots it's, it's the contrast also that's that's creating those spots okay that's looking pretty good now right now it's just, it's just black and white so I'm gonna add a curves to this and it just goes right below the fractal noise uh, effect and then I want to ch start changing the the curve for the individual color channels so let's start with red kinda of bump that up let's go to blue maybe bump it up down here and then maybe green we can play with that see what happens okay so already do a random preview already we've got a motion using two very simple effects and you have control over the speed of the movement by changing the revolutions to maybe you know five or so and changing the evolution cycle to five or you can make it a lot faster by increasing those numbers uh, you have control over the color by just manipulating these curves and manipulating you know what the the channel color so let's say we wanted to do something really warm and hot we could bring up those reds and bring down those blues and you know just play around with this as, as much as you want and there's a different motion altogether go back into fractal noise and I think we can change the seed, the random seed, so see this this pattern is is just a random pattern but we can actually change that so that's a it's a different pattern it's even though the settings are the same where we change the pattern just a little bit so it's it's different in some way if you want to make a set of these and you just didn't want them all to be exactly the same um, again we could go into transform we could scale this down make it you know more detailed we could scale this up make it less detailed so it's more of like a, a wash and you know there's just a lot of possibilities with uh, this simple you know simple simple uh, effect in After Effects so you hope I hope you like this uh, this simple tutorial showing you how to make uh, a motion loop in After Effects I I hope to make more of these in the future uh, giving you just tips and tricks on how to create your own church media, how to do things better. So thank you for watching and uh, please leave a comment and you know just just let me know what you think of this. Thanks.